Okay, so it's time to connect our encoder to our computer now so that we can program it up. So the first thing we need to do in order to do that is to download the driver for it. And what that is is just a small piece of software that tells the computer everything it needs to know about how to communicate with our encoder. So if we go into um, your usual favorite internet browser uh, and we just type in www.hawktworkhardware.com forward slash downloads forward slash C for Charlie H for hotel 340driver.exe uh, CH340 is the name of the little chip that communicates with the computer so we type that in and press enter and it asks us uh, whether or not we want to save this file so yes we do so we click on save file um, okay so that's downloaded so if we go into our downloads list we can click on the file that we've just downloaded it'll give us a little warning about the publisher not being verified that's fine we can just click run anyway and it just installs the driver asks us again for, for permission we just click yes and that's it so we now are ready to um, actually run the installer so we just click on install there we go so it says the drive is successfully pre-installed in advance so that's okay we can close this and we can ignore this warning for some reason Windows seems to think that it hasn't installed correctly um, but it has so we'll just tell it that it's installed correctly and that's absolutely fine so what we can do now uh, we plug the encoder into one of the free USB ports on the computer and it comes up installing device driver software click here for status we can do that okay so it sees it as a USB 2 serial device um, it's searching Windows update for the, the driver software we don't really need to do that because it's not going to find it the driver software is on the, on the local machine we've already installed that so we can safely skip obtaining the driver from Windows update because it will take ages we can click yes to that so it's now installing the driver software and comes up straight away ready to use so USB serial CH340 it tells us it's on COM10 we need to remember that number because that is the name of the port that the computer is going to use to communicate with our encoder so now we can close that um, and that's the the driver part installed we only have to do that once so from now on whenever we plug our encoder into the computer it will just work straight away we don't need to install that driver anymore um, just the first time now it's on the computer and it'll just work